Hey there, what's up? Welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. My name is Andre, and today I'm gonna show you how I made this photo manipulation in Photoshop. I'm gonna use Photoshop CC 2018, but you can use uh, previous versions like Photoshop CS6 even. But if you have Photoshop CC, it will be a little easier for you to follow along uh, with this tutorial. I will classify this tutorial as advanced, even though for some of you it might not be that advanced. We're gonna use just um, basic photo manipulation techniques. We will use the pen tool to make the selection uh, of the model. I'm gonna show you how I painted some hair. Let me zoom in so you can see it a little better. I'm gonna show how you paint a little hair, well, some, some hairs around here. I'm gonna show how I made the shackles here. Uh, I made this using the 3D uh, features of Photoshop, but you also have the stock image in case you don't wanna do this or you don't know how to do it or you cannot do it. And I'm gonna show you how I get this uh, color tones and well, some other stuff here. And yeah, that's pretty much all. As a premium member, you will find uh, the PSD file along with the video, with the full video if you want to download it from members.psdbox.com and of course all the resources, you'll find them in the folder there so you can follow along with uh, this tutorial. The tutorial will be about one hour long and well that's uh, that's all. I hope you will enjoy it and let's get started. So we will start by creating the canvas size here. I just use a standard 4x3 four, four format, so 4000 by 3000. If you want to have a print resolution, you can put this to 300 pixels per inch. And we're going to just hit, let's name this, drag me to hell. Has nothing to do with the movie. I just thought it was a good name for this. And let's hit create. This will create our canvas. And let me get my pen so that you don't see the click. You don't hear the, uh, the clicks here. And we're going to start by creating first the background image, just like we usually do. Uh, I usually do on when I make uh, photo manipulations. And here inside the resources folder, you will find everything that you need for this uh, photo manipulation. Uh, this is the background that I used. Then I used another image, uh, this one for the floor, uh, for the ground. Uh, you can use uh, any other image if you want, but uh, I got this from unsplash.com. And what else? I have a chain here, which I will use. This is from uh, texture for photoshop.com and some more plans from uh, Unsplash to create the foreground and then the images of the arms. And what else? Uh, this is the image that I used, but I'm going to give you also a second one, which is this one, if you want to use another version and create your own version of this, another image of the arms and the shackles that I created in Photoshop myself. So as I said, we're going to start with the background, so we're going to open this image. I'm going to hit Control X and just paste this over here. Another way of doing it is just going to file and choose Place Embedded and then just select your image and put it there. This will add it as a smart object, but in my case, I don't need that. Let me see how I'm going to put this right over here. Let me, yeah, I don't know if you see this branch over here. I use this as a reference. It's this one over here. I use this as a, as a reference to put it more or less at the same uh, height there so that I have a similar background setup. Check that right over there, okay. Yeah, what else? Uh, let's add our floor now. Let's. Uh, Hit file, place embedded. Where is that? Place embedded. I never use this uh, link, uh, this uh, way of adding images like place embedded. The difference between, uh, let me show the place embedded and place linked, I think is uh, that if you put an image and then you change that image and you leave the same name, it's gonna change the image here in Photoshop uh, because that's a linked object. But anyways, um, I think I made a tutorial of how to use templates, how to create templates, create linked, well, using linked uh, elements. Okay, so just put this image right over here, about there. And let's start renaming layers first. We're going to remove the background. Let's name this forest. And this one, let's name it ground. Just so that we know what we're doing here. And if you have any questions about any layers, you can uh, um, you can have the name there so I know what you're talking about. And here I'm going to use the gradient tool. I'm going to use the black to white. 
just create a linear uh, gradient. Just this is a temporary gradient because uh, we have to put the model there and see everything, and then we we'll, we will change the layer mask or the position of that of the of the ground. So first we just create a temporary layer mask, and then we're gonna open our second image of the model, which is this one. You will have it as a DNG format, and it already has the edits embedded on the file or at least it should in my case it opens like this these are the original edits that i made to the image this is my girlfriend and i shot her well you can see with natural light we i don't use the i didn't use a flash or anything and i just made some edits here by default it should open this in camera raw and you should have this so just press and hold the shift key this will open object and what that means is that when you double click here now, it's going to open this in camera raw because it's now a smart object. Before we move this image to our canvas here, we have to create the layer mask because if I drag this here, make it smaller uh, and create the layer mask, you lose a little bit of quality and it's better to create a layer mask uh, on, the, on the other document. I'm going to show you why I do this. So if I make this smaller and create the layer mask, I like to create the layer masks on the full image. If I double click here, instead of opening this on the other document, the document is gonna open it straight in camera raw. Another thing you can do is right click and choose um, replace um, edit contents, but it's not gonna open this uh, on full size. So before I move the image here, I prefer to create the layer mask here. So I'm gonna get the pen tool. You can use the quick selection tool, it's gonna work uh, well as well so let's first use a normal selection so you could use the quick selection tool so make the selection like that uh, especially for the well for the bigger parts of the body but I'm gonna use the pen tool uh, I think it's a lot more precise and you get better selection so just get the pen tool make sure you set the option here on the top on the toolbar uh, on the options bar sorry set to path if you press on uh, if you press the caps lock or yeah i think it's caps no, caps key uh, you can switch to the precision mode and i think it's better i'm not going to talk about how to use the pen tool i assume you already know that how to use it just drag a path like that around and that's that's basically it just create a path around uh, we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward, of course, here, so you can see how I um, draw the path. But uh, you're gonna see it on a fast forward fashion. So uh, I'm gonna fast forward now, and uh, I'll see you when when I'm done. So here I'm going to drop the opacity, let's say 20 and flow 30. And with the soft brush, just paint with white again to start revealing this part, especially the one over here that are these ones that are red. Paint like that to reveal this, but not completely because we want to still see through uh, through it to see the, the background through it. Yeah, something like that. And you can see how, how that looks now. 
I have to increase the density of the layer mask and now you will see it better. I'm gonna keep painting around here. And here I'm gonna also recover this part over here because I like how it looks like. And I'm gonna use the brush uh, hardness and just paint with white and opacity and the flow to 100% again. And paint with a really small brush to reveal this part over there. Okay, and now we revealed that and it looks a lot better now. Uh, let's see what else here. On the hair part right over here you can create a semi-transparency if you want again with the low opacity and flow about 30 and 30 for the opacity and the flow and gently paint like that recover part of that well, part of the hair we still have some other details here like here on the chain here we have to paint with black using a, a, a black color and just paint like that with the soft with the hard brush in this case and just remove that background over there and the same over here and I think we're done with the background well we still have to recover parts of the hair but we're gonna do that a little later on what I will do though is I will use a semi hard brush to create a softer edge here on the hair well even softer about 30 percent uh, this will create a better transition when we draw the hair later on okay that looks okay and we're done next we're gonna um, soften the edges of the tree and again we have we need the selection so control click the layer mask of the model layer this will load the edges and we're gonna right click on the layer mask now and choose select and mask or refine edge depends on what you kind of Photoshop version that you're using and here we're gonna soften uh, the brush I'm gonna shift the edge a little bit and increase the smoothness well not not the smoothness sorry it's the the feather and you can see how this starts to 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 soften the edges we'll increase it quite a lot and then increase the Basically, you just work with the uh, shift edge, uh, minus 10 or 15%, and then increase the feather about two pixels, 2.5 pixels, and then increase the contrast until you get the sharpness that you want on the edges. Take a look right over there. And if I increase this even more, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna focus uh, the edge even more. I'm gonna show the original. So we went from this to this now. I'm not going to click OK just yet, because if I do that, it's going to, uh, well, by default, this should be set to layer mask. If you click OK now, it's going to apply the softness around the whole layer. We don't want that, because you can see it also softens this part of here, which we don't need. So instead, I'm going to put this on selection. So I'm going to output this to a selection. I'm going to click OK. So instead of uh, updating the layer mask, it's going to create a selection with that softness set and what I need to do now is invert the selection and then just paint around the edges so I'm gonna to go to select inverse and now I have the outside selected and if with the brush tool with on the same layer mask I just want to paint uh, on the areas that I want to have that where I want to have that softness uh, right over here okay I'm gonna press ctrl command H to hide the selection the marching ends so you can see what I'm doing the selection is still active okay it's just that it's I I hidden the uh, marching ends and then just paint with a brush with black to soften the edge only on this area. If you don't invert the layer mask, you're gonna paint on the opposite. I'm gonna just I'm gonna show you that inverting the layer mask. You're just gonna paint on the inside. That's why I inverted the layer mask. Okay, so let's do it on the on this other side as well. You have to paint more than you actually need, and then you have to reconstruct this. It's easier that way. Okay, now zoom in a little more if you need to and paint with white until you touch the edge of the arm. Let's see if the hardness, yeah, it's at 100%. And carefully paint like that. 
Okay, now I have the shackles in place. Now I have to reposition the chains to fit that. That one over there and this one. With control click, you can select the layer. Um, I don't even know what, well, it's actually right over here, but imagine you have other layers selected from on the bottom and you want to select the layer of the chain. You just control click the chain and it's going to select uh, its layer. Okay, now let's move this right over here. And you can see that now this link fits a lot better with the connection over here. That's why I wanted to have this link uh, while this one looks a little weird. Okay, let's move it a little lower and now create a layer mask for the chain layers. Oops. And start with the right one with the brush, with the small brush, just paint with black and remove that, those parts and make it look like this is actually connected as you can see right over there. Let's go to the chain left and do exactly the same. I'm going to move it a little lower. Use that layer mask and with a black brush, uh, black not white, just remove it. Yeah, like that. Drop the saturation. I'm going to drop the lightness as well uh, because we don't want them to stick out that much. We just want them to be here for the depth of field. That's why I uh, desaturated them and darkened them. Click OK. And if you want to use exactly the same settings on the other one, press Alt Command. U and it's going to open the hue saturation with the last settings that I used and click OK.